Hello everyone, we are Group 3 and my name is Jing Yu Hong. My name is Xin Chang Wang. My name is Xin Wang. And we designed a chip that can measure the ECG signals in a portable way. With this system, we can provide solutions for heart disease detection. Let's start from system block diagram. The ECG input signal is from human body, showing in blue in this spectrum figure. There are also some noise, especially 60 Hz interference, the right one. The ECG signal is so small, about 1 mV, and hard to detect. So we need to amplify the differential ECG signal and reject common mode noise. The first stage is an INA with 38 dB gain and high CMR. Also, the off-chip RELAC drive circuit provides common mode feedback, helps to reject DC offset. As the output of INA shown in this figure, the ECG signal is amplified and noise is rejected. Then, the off-chip bandpass filter has passband of 0.1 to 150 Hz to filter high-frequency noise and DC offset. The PCA has multiple keying options to fit different input strengths. As shown in figure, ECG signal is further amplified. The analog output of PCA is digitized by 10-bit differential star ADC at 10 kHz sampling rate. The microcontroller will process the digital output and display on the screen. This is our overall schematic. The INA, the first stage, is used to amplify small ECG signal with high CMR and 38 dB gain. We use fully differential structure, consists of single-ended amplifier and differential amplifier. The first stage uh, is important of noise, so uh, PMOS input pair is applied to reduce flicker and thermal noise. With low frequency input signal, it is better to add chopper to reduce flicker noise. Also, as we mentioned, 60 Hz interference affects our result a lot, and the notch filter can reject it. The second stage is a fully differential two-stage OTA with common mode feedback. The error amplifier is designed to stabilize output voltage level. The tests under different corners show INA closed loop gain reaches 38 dB. The CMR of INA is affected by mismatch, which can be improved by better layout design. We introduce resistor mismatch manually. It shows INA reaches 93 dB CMR. So let's go to the PGA. The PGA has a simple structure, several resistors, and the differential OTA, the same as INA. The gain controlled by two switches the complementary pass transistor can short this transistor can short these resistors. The result shows the different codes control full gain options. We don't need accurate gain, so it is enough. This is our whole schematic of the SAR ADC, which contains sample and hold. Comparator, CDAC, Frequency Divider, and SAR. The ATC operates at 10 kHz sampling rate with 320 kHz work frequency. It uses 2.5 volt positive reference voltage and zero negative reference, and 1.25 volt common mode voltage. 
responding to 2.5 volt power supply. With the fully differential structure, the full scale is 5 volt, which means the LSB is about 5 millivolt. To improve the clock driving ability and reduce glitches, the, cell, the clock buffers, uh, which is inverters, are added. SAR has 10 bits registered to store comparison results and one dummy bit to be the valid flag. Each bit consists of a flip-flop with reset and the max. At the hold phase, there are 16 cycles for comparison. When the dummy bit goes high, the microcontroller can read 10 digital bits for display. The strong arm latch structure is applied to the dynamic comparator. Buffers are added to output to ensure complete logic high and low. The strong arm provides lower offsets and has lower power consumption. The pre-charge nodes avoid hysteresis. To reduce offset, the input pair should have a larger size, but we need to trade off with larger parasitic, uh, which will affect CDEX charge distribution and uh, linearity. And we do the Monte Carlo simulation and found that the three sigma result uh, is a, almost equal to the LSB, so the also the offset is constant, so it won't affect our results a lot. The bootstrap sampler implements a charge pump, which allows sampling switch gate to swing to two times VDD and ensures that R on and charge injection have less dependence on V in's value. So at logic high of 10 kHz, the circuit samples input signal. At low, uh, it holds the voltage in capacitors of CDEC for comparison. A 10 bit differential C deck consists of an array of individually switched binary weighted capacitors and stores input voltage. We use bottom plate sampling in its common mode voltage, which is 1.25 volt, and convert differential input to this level, which is more stable and fits non real to real comparators input. The unit capacitor value is determined by uh, KTC noise should be smaller than half of quantization noise. This figure shows the capacitor array layout which is part of the CDEC. The capacitor array is center symmetrical for better matching and ensures the same parasitic in each unit capacitor. To test our whole ADC, a sine wave input is applied. applied. Then we can analyze output spectrum results and calculate dynamic performance. We can see that under ideal conditions, the E knob reaches almost 10 bit in different corners. This is our um, test setup and this is our electrodes the signal passes through uh, electrodes and enter to the chip and after amplified by the INA on chip the signal will goes to the bandpass filter here for uh, filter out the uh, high frequency noise and we also have the anti-aliasing uh, filter here and then the signals will go into the ADC on chip 
the microprocessor Digilent here will capture the 10 bit um, digital signals and send it to the computer for display. And we also have like three power domains on the PCB. And that, that is our uh, test setup. So this part is the uh, live demo of the real ECE measuring. And basically uh, the master is to use the, basically there's three electrodes here and we should put the red one on the left fingers and put the black one on the right fingers and use the blue one as the combo and put it on the palm of the left, right hand. And yeah, we'll just wait for a while. Uh, so for now, the ECG waveform is gradually uh, shown on the screen and basically we can take a look at uh, for this ECG waveform, the uh, R wave of the ECG signal, which is the middle one, is really obvious and it, it has the uh, highest peak uh, compared to the other uh, S wave and the R wave of this waveform. Uh, I'm also measuring my ECG signals and from the plot we, we can tell that my S wave is more obvious than C's S wave, and this is my ECG signal. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We would like to extend our special thanks to Professor Kingit, Richie, Moore, Alfred, and Burke for their valuable guidance and support.